Okay, so on the recent side mount course I was just teaching, um, a couple of the guys asked me what my real thoughts are about twin sets. You know, are they really as bad as I make out and all this? To be honest, um, I'm going to tell you the full story because I think that a lot of people misinterpret what I put out there to be um, like clever marketing. Um, right, right from the beginning. So I learned to dive in 99, then in the year 2000, 2001, I worked my way up um, to become, with TDI, a advanced trimix diver. I also did the deep air component part of that course as well. Now, I did a lot of my diving in Egypt. Uh, the certifying dive was 100 meters in the blue hole in Dahab. Um, so you could argue that I had quite a good level uh, as a twin set diver. Now, all my courses at that point were in a twin set. Uh, that dive in particular was uh, using a twin set with two stages. I think we had a 40% and 80% and a trimix mix suitable for the bottom. Now, after this, I dived pretty much solid in twin sets for three years. Now, uh, I had with my father, uh, we had three different twin sets configurations at our house at any one time. I think I had five different wings. So you could actually say that I um, loved twin set diving actually. Now, what did I go through? Well, I tried the French system initially with two independent uh, isolated cylinders, which were obviously on the back. Then I tried a straight bar manifold, which we know now the isolation manifold is uh, much better. I also tried inverting the twin set completely, adding a cage at the bottom, then having all customized hose lengths run up from there. I tried the remote slob knob, so that's the bit that goes on the isolator valve and it allows you to have a cable that comes out and you can turn on and off the isolation. Uh, we all know they didn't work particularly well and they rusted and it actually created quite a lazy diver. So you could say my twin set experience is pretty vast actually. Now in 2003, 2004, uh, well late 2004, I actually became an instructor trainer and I was able with my experience, um, having dive technical now for four years, to work my way up to become a um, Tech Trimix instructor trainer. Now, even for me, that then um, doesn't necessarily make you the best um, diver in the world. We, we know how easy it can be to get certifications. So I think the real credibility comes from um, the cave training I took initially. Now this is with Steve Bogarts, who's one of the best at what he does. Um, I did in November 2008, uh, sorry, February 2008, I learned to become a cave diver in Mexico. We did it on a twin set. I then built experience up for over a month, diving every second or third day. And I then took another course to do stage and moldy stage. This is again with, the, with twin sets and we involved um, DPV or scooter training as well. So in the end I was making um, cave dives uh, that were about three hours long using one or two stay cylinders uh, and a DPV. So I have both experience in um, deep diving with a twin set and also quite a lot of experience diving uh, in a cave. So you, you know, I think that gives me a lot of credibility to know what I'm talking about when it comes to using a twin set. Now, in 2000, late 2008, this is back in November, I again trained with Steve and we uh, learned side mount this time, or I learned side mount from him. And to be honest, this changed everything for me, really. So after the training in November, I went to Australia and I dived pretty much side mount for an entire year. I didn't actually teach anybody to side mount, just was diving it myself. And for me, I found obviously difficulty using it in different environments. You know, we talked about rough seas, boats, but through experience, I learned ways to deal with that. And actually, I would argue now that there's actually no dives I couldn't do with side mount. Uh, that I could actually use a twin set for. So 
for me, when you've built the skill set, I think Sidemount gives you much more opportunity to dive in varying conditions than using a twin set does. So I didn't put a twin set on again for another four and a half years. I did, uh, uh, four and a half years later, I, the twin set I put on was for three days. When I was becoming a cave instructor myself, I was actually assisting Mauro on a cave course in Mexico. And uh, he needed a student uh, to buddy with his student who's on a twin set. And I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to, you know, again, get back in and see just what my perception would be after so long out of one. And I was diving with Ivan, and uh, we, you know, to be honest, we, we got in. I think a twin set actually works great for that application. Um, you don't necessarily need to go on your side, go inverted, for it to work. What, what I was doing, though, I, I did that, okay? I got straight in the water, um, tried all the initial fin kicks, your frog kick, your back kick, helicopter turns which everything works great. I mean, the twin set really stabilizes the core and allows you to work very flat, so it makes it easy. Um, once you're wearing the correct weight and you don't have a very fancy wing with lots of lift and you have a very minimal harness, simple back plate, and you're not overweighted, it actually works pretty good. But what it does is lock the spine. Now that's something I've not, I've had so much freedom for so many years with side mount that was the bit that was a little unusual. So the buoyancy control being there, and everything else, I started to try out all the different orientations, turning on the side, turning upside down, um, and I found very quickly that you get a big weight shift when you turn over. Uh, that's pretty obvious. Now, as a cave diver, you obviously go in a cave and you do everything very flat, horizontal, and you always keep reference with the line. So I think from a team diving point of view, twin sets work really well. But this, for me, I have to say that twin set diving is a very 2D experience. Whereas if you compare it with 3D, having the back really able to move, your spine to flex, it creates this 3D environment that you can move in and really get the most from and most freedom and um, flexibility and enjoyment from being in the underwater world. And that's pretty much what I enjoy the most about it. Now, after those three days, uh, I think now we're on, how many days more now? Wow, I mean, we've gone on for another year and a half now from there. And uh, again, I've not needed to put a twin set on apart from the, the video I made where I was just ejecting the twin set uh, just for, um, some fun really. So in a nutshell, twin sets are great, they definitely work. I had a lot of history of using them. Um, what I would say is that for me, side mount really works better. But you do need to spend the right amount of time learning and ensuring that the side mount system and configuration you're using doesn't have too much flexibility Everything is in a place where it's accessible, but very streamlined. Um, there's no clutter. Your cylinders are certainly staying next to the sides of your body. Um, we've seen many, many examples now of other divers around the world um, joining or first learning side mount. And a lot of side mount instructors started to teach side mount that don't have the experience or necessarily the attention for detail. And I think with back mount twin sets, you, that they, it's a lot easier to keep them more compact and initially train somebody in if you're not going to take the time to do side mount properly and keep everything refined and next to the body. So there'll be, there's no reason for me in the near future uh, or any diving I do to actually use a twin set again. I mean, side mount for me really works in all the environments. I've now taught, let's just say, over 50 people who pretty much only dive side mount now, moving forward. And this has been many different types of divers. I think it's five or more divers that have gone through the GUE Fundamentals course, which I've trained now. And I actually asked them, you know, guys, 
uh, you've been through the GUE training, I actually really respect this. I think if you are going to go for training on a twin set, you should probably seek a GUE instructor and get their foundation training. But I just said, hey guys, what do you think to the system I'm using, the skill sets, the way I'm introducing it, um, and the Side Mount Essentials program? And they pretty much said that it's, it, it fits really well within um, the, the team diving um, etiquette, if you like, that GUE has. So I think if, if a good instructor puts a course across, you can have a solo or self-redundant piece of equipment configuration like side mount being used for team diving, being used for solo diving. I think it's just how you train that diver so that they can get the best from um, the dives they're going to make afterwards. And that's really all I have to say on it. Um, so for me, side mount, and I think that I hope watching this video you have now got some more information. I've cleared up the, the, the truth about that actually I quite loved using a twin set for many years. Uh, I tried nearly all the variations you can and uh, I still now choose Simon every time.